It's no secret that many users who control lasers prefer to do so from their colliding console. How much control each user desires, however, varies significantly. To help solve this issue, you can now create your own DMX profiles to min-max your DMX control experience, as well as add permanent effects from the FX engine, allowing you to directly add effects to mimic common lighting fixtures effects, such as prisms, framing shutters, gobo shake, and more. Your imagine is the limitation. DMX custom profiles are available in the DMX server mode of Beyond. To learn about DMX server mode, go watch the, that Quick Hints video first. To create custom DMX profiles, go to the projection zones, then go to the advanced tab. From there, you will see our options for DMX server, including all of the standard 16, 32, 50, and 39 channel modes for various purposes. But now you can select custom profile. Just to the right of that, you can select which profile from the drop down menu or edit profiles to create them. This is the custom DMX profile editor. On the top, you have your standard new open and save. This saves your custom profile list where you can store multiple custom profiles in one file. To the right, you have the drop down list for your profiles and the ability to add, delete, and rename those profiles within the list. Under file and edit, you have all these options but just under the drop downs. Let's create a test profile. On the left, you have the default list of parameters for your custom profile. In the middle, you have the available parameters, and on the right, you have the ability to add permanent effects that are bound to the profile. You can move parameters left and right from your profile and move positions up and down. The order will be what the channels in the fixture are ordered by. You can see the number of the item on the left and the DMX offset on the right. Some of these parameters are 16-bit or 24-bit for two and three channels of values. Most of these parameters will be familiar to you and are built into the regular profiles. On the right, you can add parameters for the FX grid, quick effects, color channels, and beyond channels. We call channels, parameters, same thing and beyond. If you haven't watched our quick Hints tutorial on beyond channels and color channels, it is recommended to do so to help understand this next part. Once you have settled on your DMX layout, you can add effects into your profile and link parameters of the effect to the beyond parameter numbers in your DMX profile. Let's look at a few examples of effects you may want to add. For prisms, you have several cloning effects in beyond. Here we have a clone round effect. This is basically a circular prism. We can assign parameters to each value we would like to control. For instance, we can set beyond parameter one to the number of copies in the clone and select that from the values to our channel. We could also set and resize of original content to beyond parameter two, and even our spread for X and Y to beyond parameters three and four. This would then act as a prism effect on your profile for you to control from your console. For mimicking framing shutters, you can use an effect like window clip, which allows you to clip content in and out from X, Y, and Z. In this case, we have set min and max x-axis to beyond parameters 5 and 6, and min and max y-axis to beyond parameters 7 and 8, giving us a four-way framing shutter in our DMX profile. Here, when we set the values, you can set the from to be negative for minimum and two to be positive for maximum, so all your channels on your profile and in the console can default to zero. In our last example, we'll create a gobo shake effect. Using an oscillating rotation Z effect, we can set the rotation minimum and maximum and set beyond parameter nine to control the position of the shake. This allows you to animate the shake movement and speed in all of our effects engine from our console. In this case, it's best to set our start to zero and our finish to the max shake angle. So when our channel is at zero, there is no change to the rotation of the original content. Once you're happy with your profile, I recommend saving them in the list. Once you've done that, you can press OK and select your custom profile from your DMX server selections. We hope this tool allows you to create the exact DMX console experience you've been looking for and allows you as the designer to choose what you need and what you don't, as well as create and build effects to mimic other lighting fixtures in your rig or other tools you've used before in lasers, media servers, and anything you can think of. Thanks for watching this quick hints video on custom DMX profiles for Beyond Server. If you still need help or have questions, feel free to contact us at support at pangolin.com or check out our other videos and educational content on the wiki, all linked below.